this stuff. I didn't have to do that with this style, but I have done that with a several style. <laughs> well, only thing I do is get up and brush my teeth. That's about it. Let's not rub it in. That's Let's it. not rub it in. That's it. I don't even touch. <laughs> Shake, I don't even touch what's up there. It, it, it goes naturally African curly. I, whatever it do, <laughs> Jerome, that's what I let it do. I don't even bother. <laughs> I don't even bother. Good stuff. Well, you know, this is our daily meeting, and we have a guest. Well, we don't have a guest. We have royalty over the call now. Her name is Reese. And I'm, before we get to Reese, Grace, let me let you set Reese up, because we all about to be surprised, including me. And right after Grace introduces you, Reese, then you can talk for as long as you want, and then I'll carry on. Well, yesterday, I was going to the store for my grandmother and I get a text, I get a text message. Well, I get a call from Antonio and he says, Hey, I need you to take care of something for me. I'm gonna send you a screenshot. I said, okay. He was in a meeting. And so I looked and, and Re it was Reese who was asking a question. And so he, he was in a meeting, so he couldn't take care of it. So I called her, got everything taken care of and uh, got her squared away. And I told her when I get back to the office, I was going to send her an email of everything she needed. And then, so we were, we were calling, we were uh, tagging each other back and forth. And I got an email from her saying something wasn't working right. So I called her back. We got everything squared away. And I said, how did you find Antonio anyway? And Reese, here you go. Go ahead. Well, go ahead, ma'am. Oh, wow. Good morning, everyone. Wow. Thank you for the, <laughs> the introduction. This suddenly feels like a, a much anticipated. Um, so. I I have my my Google settings set up so that in the morning it does a few tasks, tells me the weather, pulls up some podcasts, and I had gotten a new phone and I set it up on the new phone. And real quick, I just told it like play the last episode of Secret to Success podcast. There's not just one podcast called Secret to Success. There's like a bunch of them. So there's one that I usually listen to. But at five in the morning, I'm still in dreamland. And all of a sudden, I hear Antonio's voice <laughs> from the distance, from the corner of the room. And at first, I'm like, what is happening right now? And then after a while, by the time I go and get my phone, I'm like, all right, well, this sounds all right. This isn't what I expected to listen to, but I guess I'll listen, I'll, I'll listen a little bit longer. And then I went and found out what it was, subscribed, and uh, looked at some other things. So I was telling Grace on the phone that it was literally a, a, div a divine calling. A voice in the distance came to me while I was asleep. <laughs> and it was Antonio's voice through my cell phone. So that's my story. Oh my God, <laughs> I am dying over here. <laughs> She told me that the secret to success podcast that she was listening to was E.T. But then, you know. <laughs> That's how me and E.T. got cool. Because I didn't. All right. So let me let, let me tell you the fact. Well, first off, let me acknowledge you, Reese. That's so awesome. <laughs> that is so awesome. And then let me just tell everybody, I told you so. Because I did tell you so. Voice and voice search is going to do something to you. Do you remember I said that? I said everybody's doing SEO about 10 years, that's going to die. So when she called out with her voice, played the last episode, at that moment, whatever worked, with whoever was trending at the time, that's what she got. Do you understand? And both me and his podcast go back and forth, go back and forth, back and forth. What happened is I was listening to a lot of Earl Nightingale at the time when I started the Secrets of Success podcast. And he just kept saying, the strangest secret, the strangest secret. It's over and over, right? And I'm just doing that. And I said, you know, I'm going to start a podcast, Secrets of Success. Not once knowing or looking up if someone had that, I just started it, put it out there. And then eventually, years later, me and E.T. would hook up. And I would be the only podcast that he would get on because of the name of the podcast and plus he, 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 well, some other stuff too that he likes. But other than that, Reese, that was fantastic. Thank you very much. And I'm so glad I responded to my text message, even though I could be, like I literally told someone I'm building their political run and I say, hold on, I got a message. 
and I don't know who it is. And it said Reese, and it, 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 <laughs> and the way the message came across, it's like, hey, Antonio, no, you know me. Hey, and I'm having a problem. <laughs> Fix my problem. And I'm like, well, yeah, okay then. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so I hurry up and look down, and I literally tell the person, hold on, it took me about three minutes to handle that, and I just send the quickest message I could. I'm going to have Grace handle it for you. I don't, I don't know if she know Grace or not. You know, I'm just saying that. And then I call Grace. And say, I already sent you a screenshot. I need you to handle this as fast as possible. Now, of course, did I know Grace was shopping for avocados and toothpaste? No, I had no idea. I was just trying to take care of Reese as fast as possible. So good stuff, Reese. That's fantastic. I'm so happy. And thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anything else you just want to say just because you got the floor? Yeah, just, you know, thank you so much for being out there in the vortex. Through the law of attraction, right. you know what I'm saying? Bringing me in here. Good <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Yes. yes. She did tell me. She said, "Do these these daily meetings happen every day?" I was like, "Yeah, Monday through Friday." Antonio um, decided that he wanted he he always has a daily meeting with his core team, but he he wanted to make sure that anybody who wanted to take a look inside, so they can get uh, ideas and nuggets so they can take back to their uh, company and their team. She said, oh my God, because I have been trolling people <laughs> to do this and now I don't have to anymore, <laughs> you know. Oh, she exactly, I was like, all my life I've been sneaking into meetings and trying to make my way in. <laughs> That's one hell of a vortex you got there, Reese. <laughs> that, is, that is what I'm talking about. That is fantastic. What state are you in? You sound American. Um, so I am um, by coastal, but right, right now I'm on the east coast. You 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 in the which state? You cut out for a second. I'm in Pennsylvania right now at the moment. Oh, we have a lot of folk in Pennsylvania. Where's Charmone? I'm actually holding. Look, tell Charmone, I'm literally holding her product right now, playing with it in my hand while talking to Reese. That's a absolutely fantastic, fantastic. I am just. Who else is excited about all? Oh, you just feel the, the the energy that is just so so beautiful. Well, Reese, we've got India. These guys never sleep. They don't care about sleep. They they care about millions. That's all they care about. They well, that's not all they care about. But they're they're chasing their millions. They're attracting their millions. So it is seven thirty at night. Seven thirty seven at night for them. They are awesome. They have three mornings a day three mornings a day. They have our morning and then they wake up two more times for their mornings because we'd be up at 2.30 in the morning and then another more eight o'clock in the morning for them to doing calls. But Reese, just so you know, this daily meeting, this is real deal. I literally run the business and during the COVID-19 crisis, I figured I would just open it up and let anybody who wants to learn business or learn how we run this business and take everything back and or I say steal and take it back to the companies and build it. So you have one responsibility here, Reese. Take everything that works for you and put it in your business or whatever you're trying to do and go make some good money so you can be one of those good people that good, do good things. Fair enough? Thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate this so much. And oh, absolutely, yeah. like thievery is the mark of a good artist. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. So I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Grace, good job. See, let me, there's a lot of things I observed during this conversation. For one, well, let's, let's start with Reese. Did y'all hear her say, because I know Deanna taught y'all this, she set her Google to run some task for her. Because you can do that too. You can have Google search or alert you on some keywords that you want going on. I have I have some things like that happening in the tech not technological industry. And one of these things I'm gonna talk about today and I'm still gonna do the finances. Reese, they've been making me do finances. I, I gave them my word that I would do finances and just we've been doing it for the last five or six or ten days. And you can always you can you can unmute your mic at any time and ask a question. Don't worry about it. If I'm talking, just jump on in there, and I will stop and address you. That's the culture around here. That's what I told her. That's what you told her. Okay, good, good. And that, that's the second observation I made. Did y'all see 
how Grace handled this situation gracefully, which is her name, Grace. Right? No, she, I mean, it was fantastic. There was, you, you, so you got Reese's Vortex going on, which I really love that she said that because I'm a huge fan of Abraham Hicks, right? But she got that vortex going on, drawing things into her reality. We are worthy enough to be drawn into her vortex. Oh, don't miss that one. Don't miss that one because you cannot make a difference until you're worthy enough to make a difference. At least until you believe so. Okay, sugar, you be hopping on right at the right times. It's like every time you, <laughs> every time you hop on, like God just starts talking in your language, right? Then she's obedient, right, to whatever she is, and she hears. And I don't know, of course, I don't know what episode was up. I don't know what they played. Voice search, that's gonna happen more often, y'all. It, and a, I would give you. Here are my assessments. I would say virtual reality is about 15 years away. I could I could be wrong, but I ain't that wrong. The reason I know that is because, Steve, your friends don't go home and put on glasses and log into virtual reality. So in, until that happens, right, And until that happens, then it's not normal. They do go home and play PlayStation and Xbox. That's extremely normal. They go home and watch Netflix. Extremely normal. They go home and pour scotch if 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 they know me. Extremely normal, right? All these things. What is getting more increasingly normal is Alexa. Is Siri? Can you? That's that's getting very normal. Ah, shut up, Alexa. Alexa, off. I really need to get rid of Alexa. I really do. Spying on me. I was using you as an example, uh, Lex. All right, there we go. Got to change the words. <laughs> Sitting in the man cave. The, I am over here dying of laughter. Uh, you know, it, it's live TV. Law, it's live Alexa. TV. <laughs> it's live TV, man. What can I say? That is too funny. Well, get ready for the voice. Voice is coming much faster than you would think or think it not. Now, before we, oh my, before we, let me see. Okay, Deanna, well, a couple of things. I have a lot of, of great things to say, but I'm going to hold on real quick. Grace, let me compliment you. You made all of us look good when I was busy, and you hand you, I don't want to say handle, but you served Reese very well, and I'm grateful for you. Okay, you caught you caught that too, right, Jerome? Because I I know you was busy, because you worked for me. <laughs> I know you was busy. <laughs> I know you was busy. There's no doubt. Go ahead, Jerome. What, what I think is so amazing about this exchange is if you had not introduced Reese the way you did Antonio, we wouldn't have known any of this was going on because she fits seamlessly into us as a group. And that's what blows me away. And that's yeah. all, that's the, the nature. It's just like amazing, amazing. Well, Reese, that just means you're one of those crazy weird people that want to change the world and you're loving and kind. That's what that is. And you're probably forgiven and used to have an attitude problem a long time ago. Because that's... <laughs> he called it. <laughs> like attracts like. <laughs> Red me like a book and you can't even see my face. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think I just described all of this too, for sure. No, no, that's, that's fantastic. Grace. You signed yeah. up for How to Dominate the Recession? And as a member of the ATS Business University. Oh, well, that's sure, girl, you, yeah. you, feel to, <laughs> you feel to make at least six figures in if you, you ain't got to worry about nothing then, for sure. You you good. if you Whatever you try to do, you good. That is some great value there for sure. 
Grace, good job. Let me just say this to y'all. It is the purpose of my my fan phone. I respond to every single message. So if you, even the international, especially the internationals, I probably put more energy, more empathetic energy internationally than the non internationally. Just you know, man, maybe that's probably psychological, right? You grow up in a trash can. So when you get international messages, they have different meaning, sugar, right? You understand what I'm saying? They have different meaning when you, you know. Anyway, Grace, good job. Because you were busy, you were obedient, but you, most importantly, you were a servant leader. Okay? Let me tell you why this is so important. Grace, do you want to be number one? No. How much do you not want to be number one? Oh, I, if you gave me a scale of one to ten, it would be negative five. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, God. I could call on you all the time. You would just say the greatest stuff. <laughs> Grace, you are the CEO of a business that you're getting off the ground. And then you realize you didn't want to be number one. Tell them exactly what you told me. I want y'all to hear this real quick. This is so funny. And she Antonio, made me an offer I couldn't refuse to, by the way. Well, I, I told Antonio, I understand, I, you know, the CEO, the, co the company that, w that we're doing is great. I love teaching math. That business side is, that is, that is not my ministry. I don't, I, you know, not that I don't want to understand it, but I just don't. And if it's not in my gifts, I'd rather somebody who is, is in their gifts to, to help me on that side. I'll take care of teaching, but if you take care of this business and just make me understand what it is we're doing, oh, okay, great, you know, because you know more than I do. And I knew who knew more than I did in business. And he has on a black shirt. He doesn't have, a, not the guy with the black shirt and the ponytail, although he does know about business, but it's the guy in the other black shirt <laughs> on this call today. And- I'm gonna get me a ponytail, I am. <laughs> I am. I'm gonna get me a, a a beautiful silver one like that one right there. Yeah, I am. <laughs> that look good on you. That look good. Yeah, 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 I think so too. Yeah, I think so too. I like the idea. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, it's my it's, it's my last act of defiance. I'm not mad at you, brother. I am not. As soon as I got out the army, I went full man made, man cave, mountain man beard. And stop drinking water for six months. I drank everything but water. I dug it. I rebelled so much so that I got out the army. I sure did. Go ahead, Grace. <laughs> so I asked Antonio if he would, you know, if he would be, you know, the, the number one person. I don't that that didn't that didn't bother me, you know. I know who I am in the company because, you know, the math part, that's all me. So uh I don't know if he wants me to talk about the uh offer that he that he could refuse no you can that's you go you go go I tell him how he, smart you were I, I told him i said yes well hold on before you do that go ahead buddy before you do that i said well grace your question i asked you a few questions yeah y'all know how i am do you want me to teach you to be oh no don't teach me to bid. No, no 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 i want you to run the business all right now please. go ahead yes please run, run the bit i don't know i don't want to be taught i mean it's it's great if you want to just along the way say now this is what we're doing that's great, you know, to, to make me understand. But other than that, no, you you know what you're doing. I, I trust you. You you have several companies. I don't tell people how many companies you have because every time I name a number, you come up with another one. That's so <laughs> and then I told her, look, then I said, Well, do you want me you, you you want me to run the company? And then Grace, you said Yes, please, please run this company. You know, I have no problem with that. Um he you know, you you, you always hear him teaching, hey, if if you know you're not number one, find somebody who is. And I found somebody who is. And I asked, I said, if you would, if you would run this company for me, uh, you know, and help me with it, 50%. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> so. And Jerry, I said, what, say it again, Grace. <laughs> oh, you keep 50%. I said, well, Grace, uh, you got you a partner. Thank you very much. Because <laughs> I know what she hold it on to. And you are, and I, I don't have to do no videos. She does that. She is the talent. I just run the system. Oh, I could do that. Hell, I'll automate it. And it has no employees. Oh, shucks. Come on now. Maybe. Yeah, so, I, so I told her, all right, well, as me running this act number one, I'm just going to put you all in uh, ATS. 
and I'm gonna just have ATS pay for all the bills, so we can just split that money. Do, do you mind splitting a lot of money, and then that's how that me, conversation happens. Me and that chocolate fellow with the dreads. <laughs> he's gonna be. He's, he's, he's gonna be in there, right? Yeah. Now the reason I know that's right. Now the reason I said that is because. Well, let me let me show one more thing, Deanna. Unmute your mic. Which, by the way, Deanna has a major podcast interview at 11 o'clock today. So we're so proud of that. I know I'm proud. You know I'm super proud. Definitely. Mm -hmm. For sure. Deanna, do you want to be number one? Yes. Now, so we got Grace, who doesn't want to be number one. And then Deanna, who does want to be number one. Now, Deanna, do you like the employees of things? No, I don't. All it. right. See I'm it? learning that it, it's going to be for what I for what I want, I got to have the employees. Well, she's evolving to employees now, but Deanna, who y'all know, if you don't know, she's my, my, my right-hand woman, man, and the driving force behind of all the, a lot of stuff that I get credit for. She came to me and she was like, I don't want to do none of this business stuff. No. All that employee stuff. Mm -mm. So I said, but you want to be number one. She's like, yeah, I like it. I got it. She's, had, she's great. Y'all know how great of a CEO, CEO, COO she is. So I said, sounds like you want a micro business, Deanna. Yeah. A system with no employees that pumps out a lot of cash. Mm -hmm. That sounds like Steve and Jerry. <laughs> still want one of those. I still want one of those. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That sounds like Steve and Jerry. Still want that micro business, though. Woo. Well, that's what you have. That's what you made the Demon Regroup as. And, and then since you are masters in funnels now, that is the most fantastic way that you can do, do these things. So good job. This is why I wanted to say that. I wanted to show you. Th thank you, Deanna. Thank you, Grace. I wanted to show you that when I asked Grace to do something, and she, she, I was literally in a meeting being rude. And I said, hey, take care of this person for me. Number two went full number two. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, that's what, that's what Grace, that's what, that's what Grace did. You know, she's actually employee number one in this whole company, but that's what she did. She went out there, did her thing, stopped whatever she was doing just to support me let this be a lesson to y'all because grace i won't even her net worth is ridiculous but we don't even like net worth around here okay just know grace owns equity in this company a lot of it help me somebody okay and grace does she grace gives me money and tells me to flip it I owe Grace forty thousand dollars right now. That's the truth. Am I lying, Grace? <laughs> I didn't know you're gonna mention that. Okay. <laughs> I gotta give. I gotta fill up one of her accounts for forty thousand dollars here in the next few months, it, which would be a, which would be. Is that a three hundred percent return on investment? How much is it? That's your math. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, she flipped thirteen thousand to forty thousand dollars. Whatever, so you do the math. Yes, you do the math. Was it thirteen or twelve? Twelve. Twelve. There you go. Then that's three hundred and twenty percent or something like that. Because twelve times three is thirty-six. There you go. Twelve times three is thirty-six. So that's what she does. So she likes cash and cash and cash. There. Now let me. That related to everybody. But let me go ahead and talk to Sugar, you know. And let me let me let me talk to Sugar and and and, and my 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 church folk that it be in the church. I'm talk to Sugar and Reggie, the 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 the, the, the church teachers, so everybody can get it. I've talked to the Islamic folk. I've talked to everybody. Here you go, Sugar and Reggie. Hold the Rome in there too. Oh, Deacon <laughs> Jerome. Yeah, start off church with a hymn. Let me talk to them. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? My man, Joshua, 
didn't even get mentioned until Exodus chapter 17. And when he did, it was in one sentence. It said, on the field, General Joshua, Aaron and her holding up the arms of Moses. Joshua out there fighting. But Joshua wasn't trying to compete with Aaron or her. Wasn't trying to compete with Moses. Joshua was doing his just general job. And 40 years later, he got a whole book in the Bible. Let that be a lesson to you. Okay. Let that be a lesson to you. I'm done. I'm done now. I'm done. Reese, you started all that. You started all that. Good. It's your fault. It's your fault. Don't despise small beginnings of where you are because everyone has a purpose and a place. Good stuff. All right. One part of the meeting that I get to the finances. Somebody made me think about something yesterday. And Satish and Shaker, I am talking to both of you. Let's talk real quick. I had the most brilliant idea. Shaker, do me a favor. Unmute your mic and tell us what you do. Get ready, Satish, because what I'm about to say is ridiculous. Go ahead, Shaker. Okay, so uh, I, I'm a career counselor, career guide. I do, uh, I interact with children uh, from the age of uh, nine years, eight years, and I understand uh, their strengths. And I interact with their parents, I interact with their grandparents, I understand their value systems. Uh, I then link their strengths, their interests, their abilities to suitable careers that are out there. And when the when I interact with parents and their grandparents, I try and understand their belief systems, their biases. And because not everybody appreciates, you know, a child wanting to go into fashion or a child wanting to go into uh, hospitality, so things like that. So I try and understand that those those areas and work around by providing data, by introducing them to many of my friends or others, people who would have struggled and uh, gotten through the journey and become successful. So, so that the parents understand that, you know, what I think is actually a bias and not you know, the end of the world and my child can do great. So that's what I do. So in terms of, uh, yeah, transforming the lives of the young children. Well, you got a lot of blessings coming your way. Let me tell you, you can't, <laughs> that's a lot of energy you get to get, have a return on. You know, you know since can you we, said that, oh, who, who's that? Who, go ahead, whoever that was. Oh, go ahead, can we, can we duplicate him here in the United States? Because, uh, that. We, we could, I might let him be bi continental, you know, United <laughs> States and India. You know, I might let I him mean, do both. He literally, like, he is literally changing the world because there are a lot of children that don't do something because of the bias of their parents. Like, he's literally saving lives. He's stopping people from dealing with deep-rooted depression and hatred towards self. I mean, he's doing more than just what he just said. Like, he's, wow. I can assure you, Satish Alaha has a huge plan for him. Shaker is here strategically. I can assure you that. Okay. I can assure you he is here strategically. All right. Satish, did you want to say something in response to that? Yes, sir. So, Shaker was my coach in career development advisor group. When I wanted to that. learn how can we coach somebody, so I joined, I took up a course and Shaker was my coach he was my trainer and we were all explaining about how do we you know what do we do and all that that stuff and i explained what i do and shaker was like okay can you also teach me sure so that's how shaker came in and then i realized if i have to uplift somebody i can only uplift him or her up to my level not beyond that mm need somebody who is above me who can uplift him above me because he's capable of going above me. That's when I thought he's better to be with ATS. That's how I got him in ATS. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, Shaker and my Yuri are here strategically. They have bright, big futures and 
they are going to look at Satish like I ah, look at Satish. All right, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna owe a whole lot of uh, value and glory to Satish when it's all over. That is for sure. That is for sure. Now, basically, Shaker, you are a data analyst masquerading as a career guide. Basically, <laughs> you can say that. Yes, yes. <laughs> you are analyzing data and then pushing people into the proper place according to their data. That's fantastic. That's that's fantastic. That's why Deanna's ears lit up and cheeks got all rosy. Good stuff. Satish, I had one hell of an idea yesterday. I'm sitting there talking to somebody. I, I, I wouldn't even talk to somebody. They this they use Reese language, get in my vortex. And they reminded me how powerful I am. Now, I, I want you to receive that because I forget I could do some stuff because I don't think of myself that way. Right? You, you, you just, like when you when you lead, you rarely get to see the harvest. Because, but trust, let me tell you something. God know not to show me my harvest because I would get super big headed. Do you understand, Terrell? <laughs> we don't even have to wonder. Ain't no, we don't have to wonder that sugar. No, no, no wonder. Don't give me too much credit. If I knew the impact I really had, ah, I would act like I knew the impact that I really had. That's my personality. Do you understand? I'm compulsive. There ain't no sense in me acting like I'm not a narcissist CEO because all CEOs have narcissism. Do you understand? All right? you, you can't be a CEO without thinking you're the one to change the world. Okay, so I never see my harvest at all. And it dawned, it dawned on me. He said, man, why you ain't? God is my CEO. No doubt. That's, that's what Phil just put up in the thing. No doubt. Gratefully, he's mine because y'all yeah, wouldn't like me without that. That's for sure. Now, it reminded me. He said, dude, you know how great you are? I was like, uh-uh. He said, why you haven't? fix this TikTok problem, which leads me to this brief conversation. He, I realized in a conversation, India banned TikTok, America would more than likely ban TikTok. Why in the hell am I not building TikTok? I got the influence, I got the power, and I got the resources. And I had to sit back. And I said, boy, I'm glad I talked to you today. Thus <laughs> brings me to this conversation. Satish, oh, I got a plan. I thought about it for about eight hours. It's the only thing I thought about. I went to sleep and my subconscious was working on names. I was building the app in my head. I can see code running through my mind. If y'all don't know, I'm, I'm a computer programmer myself, so it gives me a, a slight advantage when I think of these crazy things that I be thinking. And, oh my God, I have such a plan, Satish. Oh, such a plan. We'll talk today. Yes. The universe likes speed. Everybody know, I'll just say it in the, the catchy way, I'm chasing $100 billion. Now, I'm attracting, but we'll just say it in a way that's, that's a little, little, little hip hoppity. Talk about getting there fast. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Jerome said, I see dollars. Law said, you own to something. Yeah. It... I'm reading, like, this is this is where I'm trying, the, the reason I said, ah, I don't realize how powerful I am. Because remember, y'all know I'm, I'm doing all this research, y'all know that, y'all know I come in with all this weird stuff and I say, hey, this, 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 this and that. So I'm looking, I said, all right, I, I brought up to you last week, I brought up to y'all, I showed you all, well, I showed you India and then I had Shaker talk about the, 
the the political and and military situation on the border, did all that, and I'm looking. And I have to relocate my dinosaurs. You sure do. I'm gonna put a blue check next to your name too, right? And then, you know, I, you know, I had to do all that stuff. And not one time, Jerry, was I reading these articles like, you know, I should fix this problem. I'm reading the articles like I need to tell my people about this problem. Forgetting, I could fix this problem. Because uh, I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you what keeps me in check. Was Deanna and Grace? I tell y'all something all the time, and I research this way and I read this way. I tell you this all the time. If, um, both of y'all unmute your mics. I want y'all to see something because we have some deep conversation around the office, and law has been privy to quite a few of them. Every time y'all acting beside thine selves and arrogant, and you acting better than people, which everyone does. I tell you, you can't always be, and then what's that? Right and rich. Oh yeah, that's true. I do say that too. I do I do say that too. But I'll say you can't always be the good person. Oh, in a story. All right. Yeah. Okay. Like Grace, you can't always be the good person in the story. You can't always be the good person in the Bible. You can't always be the hero. You can't always be Spider Man. Right? You can't always be the nine leopards. I mean, the one leopard that came back and said thank you. You the nine. <laughs> you, you, you can't always be the good person. Right? <laughs> thank y'all. So basically, I'm reading with this mindset. I'm not trying to be the good person. I'm just trying to, you know, boom, boom, boom. And it dawns on me, oh. Hold on, I actually am the leopard that came back this time. I can do something like that. So anywho, we'll, we'll, we'll talk, develop a plan, and I'll let you know if I want to continue to move forward. Uh, private message, develop. okay, sweet, cool. Sounds good to me, I like it. Now, finances. I had plenty, I'm saving my media, I'm, I'm being nice and honoring my word, finances. We blew your mind yesterday in two different sessions, I broke it all down to you about how you're going to do stuff, man, just, just all sorts of stuff. I showed you that if you want to make $2,000 a day, that's actually negative a quarter. Negative a quarter of a quarter, okay? Because you, you have to do something. I taught you about the second sale, all sorts of stuff, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I taught you all that. Now what I'm going to do is I want to show you something that I came up with. I just want to show you the thinking and it will make this make sense. I taught you how of the how of the how and I'm going to teach you how to get more money. Does anyone, would anyone like to know, poll my audience, and tell me if you can just tell me how many people I just need to talk to and how to set my price, I'll do the rest. Is anybody out there like that? Anybody that says, just tell me what to do and move out of my way? Do I have some people out there like that? Besides Jerry, I know Jerry, one of those. For sure, right? Yeah, yeah, Jerry's like, just move. I got it. You got it. Steve, Jerry, good. All right, here we go. Just give me a roadmap. I got it from here. Thank you, Satish. I got, I got your message. I appreciate you. I got it from here. Well, let me show you. This is where we get super advanced. You won't understand none of this, but I'm going to break it down. This, remember this, Satish, where you, I think you were in the office during this time, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe. All Good right, stuff. you were. Good stuff. Good stuff. I took a picture of it. Took a picture of it and saved it in my favorites. And knew that my little brain always works well. All right? I knew this. Each one of the, well, let's find out. Grace, I want you to take your calculator for me real quick. And I want you to take seven, seven times 408,166. Seven, you should calculate the screen now. Oh. 408,166. As she doing that, remember I told y'all, there is a difference between money and finances. Do everybody remember that? They're not the same thing. Money is fake anyway. 
money doesn't exist. Finances and, e and economics or economy is how you behave with that money. And you don't want to be money intelligent. You want to be financial intelligent, financially intelligent. 408,000. Hey, Was it 766 or 166? 166. Okay. Okay. You know, I went to public school. All right, you multiply that by seven? Yes. What's that number, Grace? There ain't no comments in there. I can't read it. 2,857,162. All right. Somebody remember that number. Put it in chat or something. So somebody help out, put it in chat. Now, let's go with, put all these numbers in chat. Grace, now I want you to put $37. Okay. Times 77,223. I'm going to make all this make sense, y'all. 2,857,251. Interesting. Can someone put that down for me? All right, Grace, I want you to take $59.99. And I want you to multiply that by 47,628. $2,857,203.72. My, 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 my. Okay, Grace, I want you to take $49.99 and multiply that by 57000 one hundred and fifty-five. Wait, can you repeat that number? Forty-nine sure. ninety-nine. Forty-nine ninety-nine times fifty-seven thousand one hundred and fifty-five. That's two million eight hundred fifty-seven thousand one hundred seventy-eight dollars forty-five cents. Mm -hmm. And Grace, could you take nineteen ninety-nine? And divide that by, I mean, excuse me, multiply that by 142,928. $2,857,130.72. All righty. If y'all can, I'm going to stop your screen. Everybody, let me bless you. I'm going to show this picture again. And then we go from here. This is the picture. Okay, sorry, just sent out a text message. This is what we have. Grace, you took this number and you multiplied it by this number. TT means total customers. I just made it up. I'm pretty sure that's not what it's on banks or official documents. I couldn't think of nothing. So I just said TT. That's it. I made it up. And this is Deanna's pretty handwriting, by the way. CT means customer total. What y'all see when you do stuff is you say, I'm going to sell my product at $7 and I'm going to sell it to 408,000 people and I'm going to get this much money. That's not what I see. Grace, I want you to take that first number that's in the chat. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to stop this real quick. And this time, I want you to take that, show your calculator, and Deanna, I want you to tell her the first, what is that? The, hold on real quick. Let me look at the chat real quick so I don't get confused. And I, I know this is confusing right now because I'm giving you piece, bits and pieces of the story. 408,000. I missed the very first set of numbers. Yeah, that's why. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm all right. Seven, seven times whatever the first number. Seven was. times four hundred eight thousand one hundred sixty-six. Wait, four hundred eight thousand one hundred sixty-six. Uh huh. And then the times total, seven. Oh. Yeah, yeah, give me the total, Grace. Two million eight hundred fifty-seven thousand one hundred sixty-two. All right, that's the first one. Now, here we go. There's your first one. Now, Grace, share your screen. And I just want you to give me 35% of that 2 million eight. What's that, Grace? 
One million six dollars seventy cents. I'm no fool. I'm no fool. And if y'all look at these, hold on, screen froze. If y'all look at the numbers in chat, every time you take those numbers in chat, do me a favor, someone copy and paste them all in sequential order from least to greatest, you know, the first one that we just put and put it back in chat so everybody can see it all at one time. And then I'll reshare my screen. Because I've been teaching, look, I taught y'all if you spend your money this way, you know, it's all good. I t I've been laying down the foundation. I'm going to tell you how to do it. You you feel you to love this. You feel to love this. So that's is that the is that all of them? I feel like that's not all of them. Oh, okay, it's split in two. So we, all right, there we go. I see now. Now oh, I got you. All right, appreciate you because you know I'm I'm a simple man doing all I can. There you go. It's a sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. Outstanding. So here we go. Now that you have this, this is the numbers. Apparently, I'm still confused. Seven. Anyway, when you take all those numbers, the big numbers, I got. It. I'm not confused anymore. And you, you get 35 percent. They all come out to a million dollars. Everybody got me. Okay, Grace. Thank you. They all come out to a million dollars. Everybody in the sentence, in the sentence for four. How many how many num how many sets of numbers is that, Grace? Five. That's five different streams of income of a million dollars. Let's talk. Now that I share my screen, now you understand. This is a stream of million dollars. 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 And this is a stream of million dollars. So if you want to take this picture and take it back to nine companies, you're more than welcome. <clears throat> Let's talk. With every bit of information that I have showed you thus far, it leads to this, but this is not the crescendo. Essentially, this is a business system in which five million dollars recur and three of those are residual everybody follow me these three are obviously sophomore junior senior these is just extra income but what is that what does that appear grace what does that say zero and i'm circling around what word book it means that I take a loss leader is what some industries would call it. I take a product and I say, hey, take this for free. Which now makes you a customer. Let's pause. Let's press play as well. I want all of you to pause from your current understanding and just put on your I am how to res I'm in my vortex and all this information is coming to me beautifully. Got me? Outstanding. Here we go. We, in fact, just pl play with me for a second. It just, if, if, unless you're driving, just put your hands out, power position, just, I won't make you do it alone. It's three seconds, three, two, one, all right, you can put it back down now. Thank you. Thank you for participating. I appreciate you. Thank you for being obedient. Now, power position. I'm just, just want you to receive. Get into receiving mode because this is five streams of income all at a million dollars apiece. And I'm not asking us to win. I'm asking us to fail seven, no, six and a half times out of ten. That's a 35% ratio. Do you understand? I didn't say, hey, let's go out there and be great. I said, hey, let's go out there and do massive action. And I haven't even implemented this plan yet. Yep. 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 And 
man, this is outside of anything you know about, outside of Rekaza, outside of anything. This is just what I like to call, sugar, extra money. Mm -hmm. I might have a sales team just independently do this until complete. I might just use this money to just pass out Christmas bonuses. How about that? I do what I want with my company. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I do what I want. Think about it. Let me see. all these repost that them 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 five down and repost them for me. Because so, somebody just logged on and I, I want them to see. I don't know who just logged on, but I just want you to see it now. It's in the chat. It's in the chat available to thee. What I did was. I went and did math. This is the math that Grace doesn't like to do, but I like to do. I went and did math. Hold on, I think I saw Carol here. Go ahead, Carol. Oh, you said you oh, like this I kind of math too? Me. You said somebody oh. just done. I said it's me. Oh, okay, good, good. So you got the chat now. All right, good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. I'm glad I did that. Every time y'all hear, every time y'all see someone log in, re repost it. Now and take take a pictures, take screenshots. You don't have to understand. I'm making you understand this. This is a business system. This is a business system. You need three things to be a millionaire. You need a product. You need a business system. You need to serve people. They're all here. Here are your products. The entire thing is the business system. And this TT is serving people. I am, okay, hold on. You need three things to be a millionaire, all right? Uh, I feel as if that was not receiving in the spirit in which I gave it to you, all right? You need three things to be a millionaire. I remember, I didn't learn this from no book. I learned this from being broke. You, you, you probably never heard this anywhere. It ain't on YouTube. There's no other teacher teaching it. I am telling you what the system taught me to get past my poverty situation. You need a product, you need a business system, and you need to serve people. Well, Antonio, I don't have a product. No problem. Go sell someone else's. And now you fulfill the triangle of millionaire. But you cannot be a millionaire without a product. Antonio, that sounds good, but why? Because the product becomes your labor. And the business system becomes your labor force. And the only way to get to wealth is labor. Well, Antonio, but the serve people part, I mean, that doesn't make sense to me. Don't argue with me. Earl Nightingale said that. It's in a stranger secret. He said it's only two ways to make money. You make it in a mint or you serve people. I hooded it up a little bit because I'm from the Gehetto. If you don't know about the Gehetto, it's where the Gehetto people reside. And I say it's two ways to make money. You can either make money in a mint, and that's illegal. They call that counterfeit. You're going to get a felony for that, is what I say. I put my little commentary on it. Or you serve people. It's the truth. And inside those two ways that you can make money, now that you decide to serve people, there's only two ways to serve people. You should probably write this down. You sell what you know, or you collect money. If you happen to do both, you tend to have a more profitable system. It's why Netflix now does Netflix originals, because now they're selling what they know. They were just collecting money from other people's products. Netflix never had a product, y'all. Netflix built a $250 billion company off other people's product. And you mean to tell me that you can't sell somebody else's product? Now they got their own products. So you're going to sell what you know. You're going to collect money. But let's back up a little bit. There's only two ways to make money. You make it. Like literally print it out. Which may be illegal unless you work in the mint, or you serve people. Now, once you decide, I'm probably going to do this the legal way. There you go. Good job for you. You, you, you. you won't have to protect it as much doing it the legal way. 
Now you say, well, Antonio, how I do it the legal way? And I say, well, Steve, good question. You either going to say what you know or you're going to collect money. That's it. Steve goes, well, okay, that makes sense. Can you give me an example of selling what you know? Yeah, consultant, connoting. That's Phil and Susan. Got me? That's selling what you know. Collect money, monthly subscriptions, ATS, sophomore level. We just sit back and collect money. Netflix, collect money. Disney Plus, collect money. Your insurance company collects money. They don't sell health. They collect payments. Do you understand what I'm saying? The funeral director, they sell what they know. They know how to preserve your body long enough for people to cry over you. That's, that's what they're selling. Pick, it don't matter what you pick an industry. Uh, cosmetic surgery, I'm selling what I know. It only falls in these two things. Now, borrowing from Bob Proctor, once you know these two things, guess what you got to do next, y'all? It's simple. You only, it's only three ways to exist in money. You should definitely write this down. Bob Proctor teaches this better than me. I'm borrowing from him, and I'm going to give it to you. Number one, you trade time for money. It's the most common way. 96% of the people are doing that. You probably don't want to do that. <laughs> Jerome was like, yep, I did it. I retired from the military doing that. You probably don't want to do that. Number two, you invest money. Your money makes money. And number three, what he calls MSI, multiple streams of income. That's it. Essentially, I just gave y'all the steps. Well, I just gave you the concept of making money. Is this fair? Now, Antonio, why do you remain successful when you shouldn't be? And let's, let's keep it real. I should. There's no reason. There's absolutely no reason that I should be. This, the odds are completely against me. It just really doesn't make any sense. But if I give you the philosophical answer, I just don't vibrate at oppression. If, if I had to give you I don't vibrate at the forces against me, okay, if I had to give you a philosophical reason. But that ain't it. Can I give you the reason that just makes sense? I know the algorithm of money. What is an algorithm? It's just a set of instructions. There's an algorithm for taking a bath, the way you do it. There's an algorithm for braiding hair. There's an algorithm for brushing your teeth. Nature has an algorithm, bees cross-pollinate. Algorithm is just a set of instructions. Once you put it into computers, it becomes a form of artificial intelligence. Once that can learn, it becomes a form of machine learning. And once that happens, then we get to the uh, aliens and machines take over and then we all die. Something like that. Skynet. Yeah, something like that. Now, that's it. This picture is your freedom. Because this picture is the algorithm to money. Would y'all like for me, I'm polling, because I'll stop right here. Would you like for me to explain to you what the heck is going on in this picture so you can take this picture and run it back to your company and use it forever? All right, I'm going to send you a link that I've been, I keep sending it for three days and never get to it. I'm sending you the link now because now I'm getting to it. And I'm almost done, okay? I'm, I'm almost done. I'm sending you the link now. There it is. I use this calculator, but I, you can also do this in your head. Well, anyway, don't do it in your head if you just don't do it in your head. Here's the link right there, right there, right there. And you can just put in any one of these. No worries. No worries. Essentially, here's what has been accomplished in this picture. This picture says, get to customers for free, Antonio. 
Now that you got the customers for free, sell them something for seven dollars as fast as possible. Get the customer for free, and as fast as possible, make an infinite return on investment. <sighs> come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. This is come on. Get them for free. Break even, but that's not your strategy. Your strategy is immediately focus on that second sale. I brought that up yesterday, didn't I? Okay. Here we go. Now, set the dollar amount you want. Well, I want a million dollars. Okay, then. It's, so how many sevens do you need to sell to get to a million dollars? 408. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, no. 142,858. That's what I need to sell. So then Antonio says, all right, I'm going to sell that many. No, that is not what I say. And don't ever say that because you're not accounting for attrition. You're not accounting for holidays. You're not accounting for the next with empathy, Boston Marathon bombing, the next 9-11. You're not counting for the next terrorist attack. Like, there are days in which you will not be able to appropriately go out there and sell something. You do not want to be the jerk on social media after a, after a worldwide tragedy saying, Reese, come by for me. No, no, don't do that. You're going to kill your brand. All right, you're going you're gonna to kill your brand. There will be days in which you cannot do that. Because as long as we have our current collective level of consciousness, we can't wait to mess something up. All right? Now, so what I said is simple. Well, you know what I'm going to do? If I know I need 142,858, let me show you how this calculator works. So I said, all right, then. Well, 142,848 is 35% of what number? Hit calculate. Now run me my number. Let's do it again. Let's say I want to do, you know what? I don't know. I don't have the system Antonio guys. So I just want to do 25% conversion rate. Understood. That's your number. Oh, no, I'm making all these calls myself, and I know I've been selling for 10 years, and I have a 55% conversion rate. Good. That's your number. Either way, this calculator blesses thee. What am I, I use this tool nearly every day. I do not get paid for it. It's a terrible website, but the calculator works, Jerry. It works. Right? <laughs> the website looks like garbage, but it works. That's all, all I care about. Right? That's all I care about. Now, back to this. Can I fit the land the plane? So essentially, I said, well, shoot, if I want a million dollars, then I need to get 35%. So I wrote, I did two labels. This is how many customers that would actually pay, but this is how many people I actually need to talk to because someone finished the sentence for me. Conversations create clients. Thank you. This means all I have to do when Reese said, hey, whatever she said, Play the last episode of, well, let me be quiet because Alexis over there. Play the last episode of Secret to Success. Okay? Well, watch this here. Alexa. Oh, now you don't want to cut on. Hey, Alexa. That's really? How it That's how it always works. Yeah. <laughs> oh. She said you ain't want to deal with me earlier, so you ain't got to deal with me now. Alexa, play Antonio T. Smith Jr. 
I ain't what I said. Alexa, play Antonio T. Smith Jr. Those who are listening in. There you go. Uh, Alexa, volume up. Volume up, Alexa. Watch this here. Volume up, Alexa. Volume max. Alexa off. So, did, did I get to hear the music? Did I do that right? All right. I'm in Alexa. Okay. You can literally tell your smart speaker, play Antonio T. Smith Jr. And it will play Antonio T. Smith Jr. Because two years ago, I anticipated voice. So guess what I did? I took my musical gifts and I said, you're not going to pass me up. Uh, I'm trying to tell you something. Two years ago, maybe three at this point, or maybe three years ago, if you actually Google me, I come up as a music artist first or something like that. Okay. Now, algorithm of money. I said, oh, shoot. If I just want this number, I just got to talk to this many people. Now, where's this 35% coming from? It's super simple. The average, like average, like below average conversion rate of anyone who talks to anyone in business world, when people come see your company that's in your market, they convert over to 35% ratio. That's that's market wide of every market. That's where the thirty five percent comes from. It's always that's why I always work with that number. That's it. I'm just using historical data to run companies. Plan landing now. There you go. This now this part was for Grace because Grace likes this part. Grace wants to know well, how many people I got to do a date. How many people I got to talk to a date? All right, this is this is for Grace right here, and this is this is what that is. This says get products, and then find out how much money you want, and then talk to so many people to where it's thirty five percent of what you're trying to make. That's me putting a lot of lessons together for you. Was this helpful? Yes. Yes. Got it. Got it. Yeah, go ahead, Jerome. Go ahead. Cause I'm, cause I'm done. Okay. I'm done. Okay. Okay. Um, that's that, that, that screen you showed us. Uh -huh. Put it back up. Without the, without the numbers has been in my head. Yeah. That screen without the numbers has been a, the part with the books and, and the price that's been in my head. So that, that got me excited. That got me Good. real excited. Okay. I'm like, hey, I ain't fall. <laughs> That's number one. Number two, <laughs> that top that top one, the book with the zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. That got my attention. Yes. Cause you know I got a couple of books on the way. Okay. All right. All right. But here's my deal. And this co this coincides with you, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you put your book out recently, okay. You said you have that. You got you got a whole bunch of folks. Get my book for free. Get my book for free. Get my book for free. And you're about to launch a case. Ah, just mm -hmm. breathe. Just breathe. That's just breathe. They're great. Mm -hmm. But here's what's going through my mind, Mr. Antonio. Because I'm listening. Because <laughs> you don't think broke. All right. No, sir. You get the book for free. That's right. But you pay for the shipping, which is understandable. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that. But here's what's going through my mind, sir. This will work okay. even if you do the ebook. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. 
So what went through my mind was this. I And I think I paid $9 uh, or $10 for the shipping. Mm -hmm. I know that that book probably cost somewhere under $4 to, to put it in one's hand. I know mm -hmm. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I said to myself that even on book that you're charging the customer zero, you are not in deficit. You're still, am I, am I getting that right, Antonio? Yeah, that means Service right now you need, you need to become a master at the second sale. That bingo. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to do that because that, like I say, that's a customer, especially what you put now is quality. They're going to say, wait a minute, this is quality. What else you got? That's what right. else you got? So when you come That's back right. knocking, oh, by the way, did you like my first book? Well, guess what else I got? Guess what else I'm doing? Guess what else I have available? Wow. And that money that you make on that second or that third or that fourth sale will swallow that book like it ain't nothing. And right. then just like you did with your little slick sale. That's what I did. You held off, and then you're going to come back and sell it for more than, oh, come on, boy. You better. You better, you better stop. Okay, I just wanted to make sure the the mindset behind that zero for the book. You yes, ain't sir. just giving away that book, okay? That book is bringing in a lot of money. It's I'm ethically end. bribing my customers to stay with me. <laughs> hey, I got the book. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I am saying I I reversed the trust ladder. I'm saying, listen, I really want you over here. So this is what I do. I'm going to trust you first and give you something. And if you like that, then you can come over here. Oh. I flipped it. Yeah. Well, I'm, not, I'm not the only one. I flipped it. Okay. Good. Yes. No, that's good. So let I me bring up. Sure it, sir. No, 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 good. Because Deanna has an announcement. Actually, Deanna, do your announcement right now just in case he has to clock in. Law. Do something pretty. It's not an announcement. It's part, it's part of this class, really. It's, it's not an Love, come over here and wrench around and wrench it off. This is why I made, now see, Law, yeah, what did Susan say about Law when he did his keynote a couple weeks ago? Law just, oh my God, he is a perfect example of someone sitting back and learning from everyone else, right? Facts. <laughs> it's a great observation because that is what Law does. Law, you ready? Go ahead, Deanna, take over. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Law's book, Launching with, not Launching with, I'm so sorry, that's <laughs> your friend, DDL Driver, Become the Commercial Driver in Your Life, has officially launched. We will be doing a 30-day marketing plan to also draw those two laws 30, he has a 30-day training that he did as well, so as you see, it says forty nine ninety eight on here because what we're doing is we're going to push everyone to Law's program that he has available for his thirty his thirty day program that he has available for everyone. So congratulations! Now y'all can go buy it for forty nine ninety nine. You can go buy yes, it. Now. You can go buy it for forty nine ninety nine, and Cozy Corner Publishing will gladly send over a royalties check to Law. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I did, y'all. Well, this is a lot. Lost a lot. You want to say something? I know he he clocked in. He got he got a head buddy in real quick. He peeped to go hide in the bathroom and say something real quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. What, what am I saying? I'm a little speechless right now. No, yeah. I'm thankful. Uh, gratitude is there. So we're just gonna continue with this marketing plan. Deanna are gonna follow up later on today, and then we're just gonna take over the world because uh, this is an awesome, awesome promotion to actually use the zero dollars and we talked about this last year and now it's all playing into effect now it's it's out there he came down Lord flew from new york came down to the photo shoot for his book literally group in 90 degree weather <laughs> <laughs> he had a tuxedo on a 90 degree weather didn't, didn't drop a sweat didn't drop it so large not to even break a sweat that didn't even make no sense i'm still trying to figure that one out because it's hot in texas <laughs> i sweat in my sleep i don't know how he do that Think about this for a second. Group economics. Law said, Antonio, so how should I do my book? I said, well, that depends on how you ask it. Would you, you, you try to get rich or you? Because amateurs focus on money on the front end. The wealthy focus on money on the back end. 
That's why in this picture, you see me say, F that book. <laughs> this book is to give great value to my customers. It is not to bring value to me. 611 pages is what I wrote my last book. Actually, I wrote five of them, six of them all at once. But the, the big one was 611 pages of my greatest effort possible. And I said to Deanna, well, I don't want nobody. I don't want Amazon to keep that information. So set the book at $50. And crazy enough, people still go buy the book, which is good. But why would I want them to go over there, Jerry? Amazon keeps that data. I don't want it. I don't want to know Reese. I don't want Amazon to know Reese. All right? I don't want to know Jerome. Get over here. And it's free on my website. Well, it's an offer you can't. You got to pay $50 here and get it for free over here. It's up to you. It's up to you. I, I know what I would do. And there you have it. So yeah. Antonio, you're saying yes, use Amazon, but do your own thing as well. At and all times. Use that. Okay. Mm -hmm. At all times, because don't nobody love Carol like Carol. <laughs> Straight up, <laughs> you been with you your whole life. Ain't never left you. <laughs> you never walked out on you ever. <laughs> you understand? You got to do it. You get oh look, largest. Oh, now I just said point. See, largest did what I told it to do. Trust it. Yeah, I don't want Amazon to have that information. You come to me, so I can do this. Now that's not me hating Amazon. I love Amazon. Amazon can take their money from me anytime they want. I just want to make sure that I get like Amazon. Do you understand? <laughs> that's it. That's what I got for y'all. That's the algorithm to making money. I hope that's been a blessing to you. I, I have am a so, question. Yeah, go you, ahead. Is there a place that um, we can get a book published that, I'm glad uh, you said that. that is out of the country that would be a lot cheaper for us? Glad you said that. It was, it was two things I wanted to say. You brought them back, both back to my head. Jerome, you wanted, I forgot to tell you that you need to get with Satish. And Satish can get your book published. Wait, Satish, go ahead, sir. I forgot to tell you that, Jerome. It popped up in my head, but I actively listened, and I got something to say about the other two. Yes, sir. ATS India will publish books. So we will get it printed here in India. I have one more question, and I won't mm -hmm. keep everybody because I know what nah, I'm Nah, you're good. You're good. But Satish, is there um, a wholesale Ayurvedic herbal store that I can purchase my herbal things for Ayurveda out there? Hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we need to connect because I have a lot of products that I'm making, but I also want to use some things that are Ayurvedic, so it's totally different than anybody has out here. Okay, so okay. That, thank you. Next today, Carol. Group economics. Yes, so give me an all, idea. It costs. Not, oh, go ahead, Satish. Yes, I have. I have an important announcement to make. I mm -hmm. forgot. So this is the right. No, time. it's all good. This is. This is. Uh, let, 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 let me. Let me. Let me tell you something. Everything happens in its place, in its purpose. Uh, Reese is here. Y'all are here because you're supposed to be here, and this is perfection happening. Go ahead. So one of the Indian Ayurvedic doctor has done a research on COVID coronavirus and he has been successful. He has treated 1000 coronavirus patients and they have all been cured. And the cost of the medicine is less than $50. Then so, I, will, I will sell it on my site and I will become an affiliate if you know how I can do that. So the first thing I want to do is that I will discuss with Antonio how can I get that at least two packets of medicine for all of us, right? the entire ATS family, whoever is here. So this is something I will discuss with Antonio and Diana and then make it happen. Yeah, because Satish knows that I, I like to discuss stuff with my legal department first. <laughs> you know, so he knows. <laughs> Number one goal of making money, Grace, is what? 
Not to lose it. Amen. <laughs> now, just to give you an idea, so Carol, Jerry is asking for your website. If you want. Okay, so Jerry, that's what I was talking about. It's um, ask dash coach Carol, but everything is under construction because I'm redoing everything. I'm adding stuff. I'm changing everything that I did. So um, you can have that, but it's nothing going to be there until I finish what I'm doing so that I can put up everything. It's going to be like totally new. So I'm going to have product on there. I'm going to have all kinds of creams and different things for ailments and all that sort of stuff. Some will have some Ayurvedic uh, portion of it. I'm going to have stuff for men as well because nobody ever makes stuff for men. And then I'm going to have my courses. <laughs> nobody ever makes stuff for men. That. That. <laughs> like creams and stuff. That was in the ladies thing. Well, you know, gentlemen have to have a nice smell that smells like a guy. So I'm creating a bunch of different things. And, um, but Ayurveda, since I, my background is in Ayurveda, I want to have a special line of Ayurvedic things as well. So, Jerry, as soon as it's up and running, um, it's ask-coachcarol.com. Um, then you'll see some stuff up there. But right now, it's nothing up there at all. No worries. No worries. Law, Grace told me you had your hand up. I did, but I forgot the question. Well, that means you're actively listening. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Good job. We are supposed to forget more than what we wanted to say. That's for sure. I remember now. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> it was probably the good job. Okay, um, so seeing as the data is not going to be on Amazon, which is great, and I'm going to be in control of the data, would it then be okay to actually send that all to my email list that I have built over the course of right. the years with T-Mobile? Oh, yeah. That's my customer says there. Okay, yeah, I'm but now you want to create, yes, but you want to make sure, you just put them in different campaigns. Some of your T-Mobile people won't know you as a book author, or author of a book. Right. Right. They may know you as something else, and you just email them how they know you, and then you softly introduce the book. Gotcha. There you go. There you go. Number one goal is to keep it, is what uh, Phil is saying in the chat. Now, group economics. How many? Yeah, I know I stress that around here. Deanna, tell them, because I have crazy fans that Still say, Antonio, no, you give me too much value. I want to buy the book so you can get your royalties off of Amazon. No worries. Diana, tell them the deal I've constructed with Cozy Corner Publishing, which is your company. If someone buys the book off of Amazon. Oh, I keep all royalties. Y'all missed it. She just got a, did you, when, when last time you got a royalty check? She was like, I ain't missing nothing. I don't never miss no money. Last week. <laughs> last week. Diana got to keep one of my royalty checks last week because group economics, right? One of us rise, we all rise. Carol? Yeah, so um, remember um, David Johnson, who you sent a free book because he didn't get his stuff? Yep. Okay, so David, um, uh, was a um, writer for sports. Interesting. He read your book and said he'd like to help you out and work with you with your publishing. Okay, so he might be contacting you because he was reading this stuff and he said, okay, let me help this guy out. And um, he's going to be contacting you and he's excellent. Okay, he's excellent. Um, It'll be a great end for you. It'll be a great end for him. It'll be a great end for Deanna. <laughs> so there you go. Yes. Yeah. Deanna. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, all, all three of us. There you go. So this, well, he's going to contact you. I just wanted to let you know. That's the guy I shared the screen and, and he didn't get his book, right? Because of whatever. Yeah. A black dude, David. I, I had no he's idea. Black. I just, well, I, I figured, you know, David Johnson does sound pretty well, black. Well, you said he's Shared the screen, so I thought maybe you saw Yeah, him. yeah, yeah. No, oh, no, I shared just the email because I don't know what happened. COVID. Yeah, he just flat out didn't get his book. So what I told him. Oh, was, he was, was reading the book and he said, um, uh, I want to contact Antonio. I'm Good like, yeah, go right ahead. I'll just let him know because, um, yeah, great in. Who knew I was being nice to someone that had an excellent you know, power? Yes. yes, right, right. You, you know what I'm saying? So there you go. Good stuff. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's the end. Group economics, 
make sure you control your data, your communications, your HR, your distribution, and all that stuff. I'm leading by example. I do not keep the royalties from my book because I do not want them. I, what I want is this picture. Do you understand? I want this picture. So when I tell you the book is free, the book is literally free. I, it literally cost me nine dollars to print, and if I send you the physical copy and you pay for nine dollars to shipping, it, it's I actually lose ninety five cents. If I get digital copy, then it was free, and I gave it to you for free. Either way, it literally is break even. If you buy from Amazon, then I'm giving that money to the publisher. Thus again, keeping my word, I am not taking a dime from this book. When you got energy like that, Shaker, talking specifically to you as I am, when you out there helping kids and, and getting their dreams, you have a responsibility to tell the universe it is time that I get a return on my energy. And let me say this to all of you. When the universe gives a return, it is always in the principle of multiplication. You plant one corn seed, you get back an ear of corn. One apple seed, you get back a tree of apples. Shaker, you have multiple hundreds and thousands of individual seeds in the future of this universe that you are freely giving away. If I were you, I would say this whole call was for me. And I know I'm talking to somebody else, but I'm talking to you right now, sir. And I would step away from this call, find a place in which I got the most Zen energy possible and say, oh, great universe. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. I now desire a return on my energy within 30 days. Oh, my God. I see like, I feel like going to a corner and crying. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. 30 days. You get a return on your energy. Whatever that may be, it's up to you. I wouldn't try to tell the universe how to get it done. I would just most certainly say, run me my energy back. Thank you for your kind words, Antonio. Yes, Antonio T. Smith Jr., you can't plant better. You can dominate. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you. Welcome, Reese, and everybody else. I sure appreciate you. Let's have some fun. Go on out there and drink some coffee. All right, everybody.